Hey, this is, well, let's do this. Hey, this is Captain Eddie Castle in, in, in the shop. You know, before I make shavings, I normally gear up. And this might seem like overkill, but right now, I'm cleaning up some equipment. Been out in the weather for four or five months. I need a little TLC. And I plan on cleaning this, cleaning this gear up. But something I didn't think about until my safety director talked to me about it. And I gotta talk to you. Watch. My safety director, who's also my wife, my loved one in management, uh, is kind of on my case when I'm cleaning up things or doing things in the shop. And here's the big deal. The shop is now in the house. She's probably 30, 40 feet away from me. That's not a good thing. But you know, the bathroom's closer. And that's a good thing. Uh, but I need to get my gear together. And here's a tip today. This is my shield. This is a Uvex Bionic with a little bit harder lens on it than they come when you get them at a discount. It's important that you get a good one. Right? And buy an extra lens when you do it. Because once you gook it up and you need to change it, you got one in stock. All right, gook it up. Well, I need to see out of these. And if I got dust or dirt or whatever on it, and I took a piece of paper towel, and I just rubbed it all off like I'm in a shop, that's not a good move. It's not. So here's the deal. When you have it in the, sh in the, in the shop, you can blow it off with your air hose and then wipe it up and get it clean. Try to use cloth, a clean cloth, if you would. But say it really gets messed up, like you leave it in the weather for three or four months, or just one day, and it's really trashy. Here's an idea. Get in the shower. That's the idea. You see this thing right here? It's waterproof or water resistant, okay? But if you really want to get it clean, put it in the shower. Now, I didn't do that. Yeah. All right. Just wash it with a garden hose. Rinse it all off. It's waterproof. And most of it will clean. And you get the smell out of that band because it does get the smell. But when you get it all done, now what do you do about it? Because it's still got spots and all on it. Here you go. Son of a gun. It's available at auto parts stores. I get it from Amazon. You get everything from Amazon. Auto parts, are, in fact, I spend more money at Amazon than I do at the grocery store, the hardware store, and a few of the others. I'm a big sub supporter of them, really. And my wife just asked for something, ordered on Amazon, done. I don't have to go to a brick and mortar to get it. Son of a gun. Why? This is made to treat the outside of cars, or the inside of cars. And most of it is plastic. So I've just sprayed it down with some of the gun. I really overdid it just now, because one spray really does it well. And then with a clean piece of cloth, I gotta show you this, because it's really, really nice. With a clean piece of cloth, I clean the lens and the rest of the shield. Then to go around to the inside and do it again. Now you think this is overkill? Why the hell you do that? Just wipe it off, it'd be all right. I have to see through this. If I can't see through this, I might be doing something dumb. Well, something else dumb. And that's not a good move. So I take my son of a gun and treat this shield with that. Why do this? Because now this is slick as a, well, it's slick. You can feel it from what you did before. Dust feels it too. So when it gets dusty, off it goes. Airbrush, off it goes. You don't wipe it down as often. The crap and crud doesn't stick to it. And you name, if you get your name painted on top of it, it stands out even better. Is that my name? It's spelled wrong. Okay. But that's how you take care of your mask. We're going to keep doing shop tips. I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and I'm here to help you when you're out making shavings. That's it.
Oh, wait, my real name's underneath there. Ha <laughs> ha!